tuned for another interesting episode. Okay, guys, it's a very, very exciting time to be in cryptocurrency. Play a part in creating the future, and if you do so, your future will be abundant. So we're here on the cryptocurrency market capitalizations, and we can see compared to yesterday, there has been a little bit of a little bit of growth in the market cap. So people have put about three. There's about an extra $3 billion worth of cryptocurrency now. That doesn't mean that people, someone bought $3 billion worth of cryptocurrency because that uh, money was generated when these tokens raised in price, making the total value of all the tokens worth more. So it's not necessarily that people put money into it, but the tokens raised in value, making the market cap uh, stabilizing above $200 billion. The 24-hour volume looks pretty nice at $10 billion. So this, this is what people have been uh, trading. People have bought, sold $10 billion worth of uh, cryptocurrencies. The Bitcoin dominance is down a little bit because we see yesterday the plans for the Segwit2x hard fork were scrapped or at least put on hold. So a lot of people moved their money back out of Bitcoin because they know they're not getting those uh, free forked tokens. So now if we uh, check out volume here, so we have Bitcoin, Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash as well as naturally Tether and then Litecoin. Not much of a surprise. Ethereum is used to fund a lot of uh, ICOs and projects. So Ethereum always has a nice volume because people are buying Ethereum so that they can invest in ICOs. And then these uh, ICOs are then selling their Ethereum uh, for cash to uh, fund their, their project. Looking at circulating supply, we have a couple coins here that just have massive, massive uh, circulating supplies. They have way too many tokens. So just keep your eye open for that. So when you see the price, remember that it's, it's not really low because of how many tokens are in circulation. I'd say these top coins here, be careful and don't think that they're going to go up into the the same uh, prices that our our highest coins are just because of the difference in circulating supply moving to our 24 hour change we see blocknet at 36 and a half percent growth iota at 29 percent growth and then we have here on the bottom end we have electronium that has a 21 and a half percent loss and b3 coin that has a 20% loss. B3 coin, we did a review on the other day, and this is an interesting coin for many reasons. And if you're trying to make uh, a lot of profit quick, look into B3 coin, uh, whether it's staking it, whether it's uh, having master nodes, whether it's just doing buying and following the pump and dump trends, you can make a lot of money with this B3 coin, and if we look at the charts, we can see that there was an opportunity to make massive gains here. It had a huge pump. Right now, it's sitting at $0.002, but it actually hit up to $2. So that is a huge difference, guys. That's a thousand times, thousand percent. And that just happened here in September, the middle of September. It could have another pump like that. So keep your eye open for that. And like I said, if you're trying to get in and make a lot of money quick, try this coin. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. So do your research. 
Don't just listen to me. So for loss, we have Electronium. Electronium was just released. It's ICO a lot of people invested in. And they made some interesting high, interestingly high gains when it first hit the markets. So it hit Cryptopia. And it's went down a little bit. So it was around 400, now it's around 200 because a lot of people sold their Electronium and were just holding it, buying it to sell. If we look at their website here, it's talking about uh, Electronium and how it's the mobile cryptocurrency, simple to use, powered by an app. Electronium is a leap forward and the accessibility of cryptocurrencies. The Electronium blockchain is live. However, for security reasons and to protect your ETN, which is Electronium symbol, we have engaged one of the world's top security firms to test our system prior to launch. Read our blog or Facebook page for details. Duncan Logan, the CEO of Rocket Space, who nurtured the likes of Uber, Spotify, and Hootsuite, is publicly tweeting and posting about his intention to buy Electronium, as it is something entirely new. I have been a buyer and holder of Bitcoin and Ethereum for a long time, but this will be the first ICO I buy into. And it was the same for a lot of people. Electronium crowd sales success. They uh, reached $40 million dollars in their uh, hard cap and closed early making it one of the most successful token sales to date so reaching an excess of 120,000 contributors and over 300,000 registered users and counting they just did their ICO so now they have to use some of those funds to build their system so the first uh, stage has com been completed. They have a listing on an exchange here, Cryptopia, where people can buy and sell their tokens. But now they actually have to uh, finish developing their platform so that people can use their app and mine cryptocurrency with their mobile phones, which should be exciting. So you can get the Electronium app here on Google Play, and it's saying here that it's a cryptocurrency just like Bitcoin and Ethereum that you can easily mine for free on your smartphone. Obtaining Bitcoin or Ethereum is relatively difficult, but we've made Electronium real easy for anyone to get involved with zero technical knowledge. Download the app, mine some Electronium coins, and you're a part of the exciting cryptocurrency revolution. There you go, guys. Probably the easiest way or one of the easiest ways to get into mining and get into uh, earning cryptocurrencies. So now we're going to check out Blocknet and IOTA. Blocknet has a lot lower circulating supply than Megal IOTA. So Blocknet is worth $30. IOTA still around $0.60, cents, but it was around $0.40, cents, so... You can, uh, you could have made, yeah, about 30% uh, on that one. A lot of these tokens are up today. They're having big gains. So if, if you're uh, wanting to sell some or you're waiting for a time to sell, now is the time because everything is up due to people moving their money uh, out of Bitcoin into altcoins again. So for Blocknet, if we look at, the charts here, it wasn't always $30. We can see that it's actually done very well. It was around a dollar. August, the beginning of September, it was worth around $30, and then it actually dropped to about half in the beginning of October. But a lot of tokens dropped due to these forks coming up and people wanting to sell their altcoins and get into Bitcoin again. It's on Bittrex and Nova Exchange. 
So you can buy it on Bitrex. Uh, a lot of people have Bitrex accounts. You can see the volume is is high. There's some huge spikes in volume here where people are buying massive amounts. This is probably right after. Actually, it's not right after the fork. Load this one. Yeah, this just happened now. This huge spike in volume because people uh, obviously bought back a lot of BlockNet from Bitcoin when the news of the fork cancellation happened. Let's go to the BlockNet website. The future of the internet, a blockchain agnostic decentralized platform as a service. Decentralized application platform. The internet of blockchains. BitNation, become a world citizen. So revolutionary technology. The BlockNet is a revolutionary advancement in cryptographic technology. A true peer-to-peer -peer protocol between nodes on different blockchains. This is the foundation of te a technology stack incorporating an API and an application platform which enables open-ended application possibilities and vastly reduces development time. A future for blockchain-based products. Cryptocurrency projects stand to gain a vast increase in user base and profit potential when they join the BlockNet, as their technologies can function as services on any other blockchain or traditional network. The BlockNet has no central or core currency and is thus a truly open inter-blockchain framework that can be extended as widely as the internet was. So that's interesting. So it's a framework for people to incorporate tokens. Um, I've, I've heard some other projects recently where people are trying to solve the problem of blockchains not being able to communicate to each other. So this seems like it's trying to do the same thing. When you launch a token on BlockNet, it can communicate with other blockchains. The challenge, blockchains have revolutionary potential, but it, if this potential is to be realized, blockchains need three core features, interoperability, mobility, and modulu, modularity. One, interoperability. There will be, there will never be only one blockchain, but without interoperability between blockchains, they'll remain in a state similar to that of land disconnected from the internet. They need to exist in a shared space. The blocknet is that space. Two, mobile. Blockchains increase in size indefinitely, which gives popular chains a limited life cycle for mainstream mobile usage. Inevitably, their storage requirements will become too demanding, even for premium mobile devices. This, the clear solution, large blockchains deliver their services to mobile apps, which use small blockchains. Modular. The data on blockchains is permanent, but most of it ceases to be relevant or useful fairly quickly. So to avoid becoming tied to terabytes of obsolete data, why not store different types of data on different blockchains, which can then be archived, discarded, or replaced without affecting the rest of the data? The BlockNet takes a microservices approach to blockchain design. The solution? The BlockNet enables multi-blockchain services to be delivered to devices that only contain a single blockchain. Thus, the device and network resources are conserved and a flexible mobile in infinitely, infinitely extensible future is enabled. How it works. Imagine you have an app on your phone. It is BlockNet enabled. It can either be a general purpose app like a browser or a single purpose app like one for NFC payments. Your app connects directly to other apps and phones and other computers which have the capacity to deliver various services depending on which blockchain they're on. Your app is also on some blockchain automatically rendering a given microservice to apps on other blockchain. 
You use the app as you would a traditional app, except that no central entity owns your data. There are no services to hack. The network infrastructure is crowdsourced, and the cryptography is very, very strong. It's the internet as we've always wanted it. Good statement to finish off with. Moving on to IOTA. Okay, so we have IOTA here. And you could have made in the past 24 hours 25 percent these are some good returns guys one of the best days in crypto i'd say yet so you can see that it's on bitfinex and binance and iota exchange as well as bit 520 whatever that is and if you look at the charts it has been up to a dollar so it might be worth putting some stop orders in up here to sell when it hits about a dollar if not you could sell some now depending on when you bought it or when it hits uh, 75 cents all up to you the volume has a nice spike here which should help us get back up near the one dollar mark hopefully and Let's go to their website because IOTA is a very interesting project. It is the first cryptocurrency that is not uh, built on the blockchain. It has a different system that it's built on that's almost even better than the blockchain. And a lot of new companies tokens I can see using this model as well where instead of uh, blockchain it's more of a tree shape the way it works the backbone of IOT is here the economy of things as the Internet of Things keep expanding the need for intercooperability and sharing of resources become become a necessity iota enables companies to explore new business to business models by making every technological resource a potential service to be traded on an open market in real time with no fees so you can buy things from the grocery store the uh, analytics center apple watch you can Basically, everything is interconnected with the IOTA model. Ledger of things. In this new autonomous machine economy, IOTA will be the backbone. The Tangle Ledger, so it's not the blockchain, it's the Tangle Ledger that they used, is able to settle transactions with zero fees so devices can trade exact amounts of resources on demand as well as store data from sensors and data loggers securely and verified on the ledger. So the Tangle ledger allows you to do transactions with zero fees and very, very fast. It's basically a newer model where it is in the shape of basically a tree, not a blockchain. The main innovation behind IOTA is the Tangle, a revolutionary new block list distributed ledger which is scalable lightweight and for the first time ever makes it possible to transfer value without any fees contrary to today's blockchain consensus is no longer decoupled but instead an intrinsic part of the system leading to decentralized and self-regulating peer-to-peer network service layer iota applications device management data format Trinary binary application layer, transport layer, connectivity layer. So this is what it looks like. It's a stack with data um, given its own stack, basically. Here you can see it's more like uh, a tree, right? It's not necessarily just one straight blockchain. It's a bunch of branches connected together. Microtransactions. For the first time ever, true micro and even nano transactions are enabled due to the unique IOTA Tangle architecture, providing developers with a brand new set of tools 
for their applications in both IOTA and web. This nurtures brand new business opportunities for companies that prohibit the fees has kept in the realm of impossible until now. So data transfer, voting, mass messaging, everything as a service and anything that needs a scalable ledger. And if you're interested in this, you can come read more, but I'm not going to bore everybody and try to get this video over and done with. So you can see their white paper, their GitHub, they have their community here. They also have a blog, newsletter, and let's see if we can find the developers real quick. IOTA Developer Hub, start developing with IOTA. I guess it is uh, basically like the blockchain, it's a uh, Basically, it's a platform for people to develop upon. So really, its developer page is for you to be a developer and start developing with IOTA. So that's everything for today, guys. We'll do another short video catching up with some of the news going on in the crypto community. But this is your market cap update with your top coins and tokens. I'm Crypto Keith, we'll catch you next time.